All right, welcome everybody. Today we are going to continue with our analysis of the World Happiness Report. My name is Nick Redmark and I'm a coach engineer. I apply the engineering mindset to personal development and I bring personal development tools to you on a daily basis. Now let's continue with our analysis of the World Happiness Report. As I promised yesterday, I started looking at the World Happiness Report and this is the index. And I saw that this is all about migration, migration and happiness. And so I thought maybe this is not the most interesting topic we would talk about. And so I decided to go back and look at all the reports because it seems like each individual report might be about a different topic. And so it is. If the first report in 2012 was about the general state of the world happiness, afterwards all reports began more and more specific. In 2013, it started being more about specific aspects of measurement and explanation of the state of the world happiness and policy. Then in 2015, they talked about gender, geography, mental child health and neuroscience. And then in 2016, they looked at distribution inequality, at ethics and sustainability. And then in 2017, they moved to the social foundation and they looked at specific countries or continents like China and Africa and America. And finally, we are back to 2018 with happiness and migration. Now, at this point, we would have to decide what, what are we going to look at? And you can influence this, you that you are watching right now. I'm doing these videos on a daily basis and picking the topic flexibly so that you can get involved and, and kind of choose your adventure here or at least influence it. Anyway, a couple more notes. You might ask where do these people get their data from about the world happiness? And there is a report called the Gallup World Report um, where they collect a lot of data from the whole world. And apparently if you want to get the data, you have to uh, ask for it. But I found a report from last year about the happy, uh, happiness of different countries. And if we scroll down, we already see that uh, at least last year, based on this survey, Norway was the happiest country of the world, followed by Denmark, Iceland, and I'm happy to see Switzerland uh, relatively high on the list. And uh, if we scroll down a bit, we can see the unhappiest countries in the world seem to be some African countries, in a sense, as it is to be expected. Um, so, and, and this might also be an interesting topic to talk about, like how do they actually measure this? Like how do they get to these results? Fun fact, the 20th of March is the World Happiness Day. And with this, we conclude today's video. Really, if you find this interesting, let me know. If you want me to focus on other topics, let me know. Uh, you can really uh, get involved and, and, and influence the things that I look at. All I want is to create a life of a better quality for you. So just uh, get involved and let me know what you think about subscribe click on the bell so you get notifications about when i publish new videos and that's it thank you for watching see you soon bye